Hi everyone, it's Peg here. I just wanted to uh, touch base with you since it was big scrapbooking weekend and I wanted to show you what I had been doing, creating a mountain of paper. These are just some of my mop-up pages. Um, I was working with the Jelly Arts uh, printing plate and so you can see that I've got some um, very lightweight paper that I was doing my mop-up on, but these are going to be great for collage later. Um, I also decided to use some stamps in with the ink, and it's giving a pretty cool effect. But like I said, these are just the mop-up pages. This I absolutely love. Um, these I created using a tool. I don't know if you've ever seen these tool stamps. Um, these come from Rubber Nature Art Stamps, and it's a company that's based in Wisconsin, I believe. And the gal that does this um, created these to do different types of angles and dragging and twisting and all kinds of things. And you can see that that's what I did is I used the stamp as a tool and created um, the motion here on the page. So that I absolutely love. I'll be doing a lot more of that. Um, tried working with a doily, like I said, lots of mop-up paper. So these will be going into other things in the future. And then I got down to where I wanted to work in uh, my books. So as you can see, I was creating um, pages here to work on later in my journal. So I've got lots of backgrounds that I was creating to work with later. And then I was also creating these um, individual sheets with the jelly print. Um, I'll just flip, flip, flip through these. It was just way too many pictures to take, so I thought I'd show you this way. I, I apologize for these terribly inky, painty hands, but you know how it is when you craft. I, I'm not one to wear plastic gloves, so here we go. So you can see that I had lots and lots of fun with lots of colors and lots of texture, and these are going to be create to incorporate into my uh, projects in the future. And this one looks almost like a paste paper because I had so much paint on there and I was scraping. Um, but you can see the depth uh, because of the different layers in here. just creates lots of fun. These are going to be so great to have on hand to work with. Absolutely love this, all, all that's going on in there. This too, it's very subtle, but... Uh, it has a purpose and it's just really gorgeous to me. Um, this stencil is my absolute favorite one now. Uh, I don't know, it looks kind of like a pomegranate or something has been cut open. But um, And then this one I did with more of the, the tool stamping. Uh, where is that stamp? It's called something like um, Marbleizer. And that's what it does. It kind of marbleized the background here. So that was fun. Um, more of that stencil that I really, really love. And it just goes on and on. I tell you, I was able to create lots and lots of backgrounds and texture and fun things. This was done with the doily and stencils. This one I happen to like a lot, the colors on it. There's that uh, marbleized stamp used again. Well, I guess I did the back side of that one too. Kind of interesting. More just using the textural tools to create that. This I absolutely love too. I just, this was uh, another one of those prints taken off of that uh, original with the turning tool and the stencil in the background. So that one's really cool. 
And then I was working on, uh, you know, I'm doing the calendar book too, so I was working on backgrounds to go into the calendar book. So I have a number of these started for my upcoming calendars. Um, so as you can see, I, like I said, I created a mountain of paper here this weekend. And I know there's more back there, but I'm not going to go into anything further. I just wanted to see how wonderful the jelly printing plate is, how many things you can create in just a few hours, and uh, get such a variety with all those different paints and things. And then be sure to not waste anything and use those uh, mop-up pages because these are going to come in handy in the future um, when you want to have a little piece to, you know, suppose I want to cut a circle out or tear it. These are perfect for doing that sort of thing with. So anyway, I hope you all have had a wonderful weekend and are enjoying the better weather than what we had last week. And I'll see you soon. Thanks for stopping by.